let's start by learning what is Java. In layman terms, Java is a programming language. And when it comes to programming language, it's nothing but a set of instructions for a computer to perform specific tasks. We can create different types of applications in Java, including web applications, desktop applications, web servers, embedded systems, mobile applications, and the list goes on. Coming to some of the important features of Java, the most striking feature of the Java programming language is irrespective of where we create our Java programs, we can run it on any platform. And hence, it is a platform independent language, which means there is no dependency on the platform where we want to run our Java programs. So we can run Java programs on all operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and many more. Now let's look at some of the Java components which are required before we start any development in Java. So the first thing which is required is the JDK or also known as the Java Development Kit. It consists of all the tools which are required in order to develop any Java program. It consists of the Java compiler and also the Java runtime environment, which is also known as the JRE. Now, this JRE is also required to run our Java programs, which we create using the JDK. JRE is a subset of JDK and it consists of the JBM and some of the different class libraries which are required in order to run any Java program. Talking about JBM, it's nothing but a virtual machine, which is again a subset of JRE and it acts as a runtime engine which runs our Java applications. It calls the main method present inside a Java program from where the execution begins. We'll talk more about it in our coming up sessions, but for now, just remember that we require all of these components in order to develop and run our Java programs. Next, we will see how we can set up Java on our Windows machine. Now let's see how we can set up Java on a Windows machine. So there are three simple steps in order to set up Java. The first step is to download the latest version of JDK on a Windows machine. The second step is to install the JDK executable which we have downloaded on the Windows machine. And finally, we need to set up the environment variables for Java in Windows. Now, open a browser of your choice and in the search bar, type download JDK for Windows. Hit the enter button and click on the first link which is displayed in the search results page. In the Java SC page under Oracle JDK, you will find a link to download JDK. Click on the link and you will see the Java SC download kit downloads page. Now scroll to the bottom of the page and there you will find the installers for Windows. Now click on the JDK Windows x64 bin.exe link. Click on accept for the license agreement and click again on the download.exe link. Now your download will start. Let's wait till the download is complete. So let's open the folder where our file is downloaded. By default, it will be the downloads folder in Windows. 
click on show in folder and that will open the downloads folder here you will find the jdk bin.exe double click on the application once the installer starts click on the next button click again next to start the installation wait for the installation to complete and once it completes click on close so that completes our second step which is to install jdk on our windows machine now let's move to the next step which is to set the environment variables for java now right click on this pc and go to properties click on it go to the bottom of the screen there you will find advanced system settings click on it that will open your system properties under that go to the advanced tab and click on the environment variables that will open up the environment variables window here we need to set the system variables and the user variables so under system variables select path click on edit and now let's try and find out where our java was installed on the windows machine so open up the directory and go to the c directory go to program files there you will find a java folder open the java folder open the jdk 16 folder and then go to the bin directory here you will find java is placed under this directory so we need the path of this particular directory so go ahead and copy this path go back to your environment variables click on new and paste the path here click on ok to save the path variable now we need to add a user variable so click on new in the variable name type java underscore home so this will be the home directory of java now in the variable value we can browse the directory so click on browse directory go to the c drive go to program files and go to java there select the jdk 16 folder so this is the java home directory click on ok and then again click on ok so now both our system variables and user variables are set click on ok to close the window again click on ok to close the system properties window that completes all the steps to set up java on a windows machine finally let's verify whether java is installed correctly on our windows machine to do that go to the search bar of your windows type cmd and hit the enter button to launch the command prompt application this is the command line tool for the windows where you can execute different commands to verify the installation type a command called java dash version hit enter and you will see the java version is printed along on the command line our version is 16 it also shows you the java runtime environment version which is 16 plus 36 the other way around to verify the java installation is to type another command called java followed by c hit enter and you will see a list of commands which are nothing but the help commands for the java compiler now we'll learn more about the java compiler and the command line tool in the later sections of the video